We are in the Butterfly Biosphere, aka the pleasures of the Nectodome. It's a butterfly house in the heart of London in Grosvenor Square. The installation is a Buckmeister Fuller style geodesic dome that's filled with prisms, with dichromatic film, and of course, butterflies themselves. I'm Sam Bompas of Bompson Par, and we call ourselves experienced designers. We actually issue everyone coming in with these wonderful prismatic spectacles, which when you put it on, it's like your inner dream, a fantastical butterfly dream. And the spectacles actually mirror what the butterflies are seeing. So as you're navigating your way around the butterfly biosphere in Grosvenor Square, it's almost as if you've become a butterfly for the day. So you start off here at the chrysalis emerging case. So you can actually see hundreds of the butterflies there uh, in their chrysalises waiting to hatch. One very exciting moment we have here every day is when we open up the case and the butterflies fly three to experience their full life. There's also a feeding table where butterflies really love um, you know, slightly fermenting fruit. So you'll see food that perhaps is a little bit past its sell-by date, but the butterflies absolutely relish it. We've also got a butterfly throne where you can sit and if you're very still, the butterflies might land on you. Since I've been in here, I've had a couple land on me. I think maybe it's because I'm wearing some very colourful clothes. So wear your most colourful attire if you're coming down. Our development chef, Danny, has worked up butterfly nectar that if you pop down, you can sample. So it's almost like the first butterfly cafe. So you can sip on the nectar just as the butterflies are doing around you here. I'm Paul from Butterfly Jungles. I'm the director of a company involved in butterfly installations. So basically we've replicated the rainforest as much as we possibly can with conditions. So you're looking at around about 30 degrees, it's quite hot in there, and around about 80% humidity, which is a nice jungly feel. So the butterflies feel right at home, and we've also got a huge spectrum of nectar plants in there for them, specifically for the butterflies to feed from. And some butterflies are fruit feeders, so we have the fruit tables in there as well. So the butterflies we're getting for this exhibit and all exhibits are um, sustainably farmed in the countries where they come from. So there's a broad spectrum of colour including some amazing iridescent blue butterflies called blue morphos. These come from places like Costa Rica and uh, Amazon rainforest basically. I think probably the biggest misconception is the fact that butterflies also pollinate. Um, it's really important we look after our pollinators now and with 76% of UK species in decline, is something we should all get involved in. So this is about awareness, really, this project, to bring out the beauty in butterflies and to show people how amazing they are, but also things we can do at home to help our UK populations. I think uh, if you want to stimulate people, to encourage them to change what they're doing, the best way is to create a moment of wonder and delight, and art and design can facilitate that. Here we're talking about um, our relationship with nature, but we're doing it so in such a way that charms and beguiles, rather than telling people that they're awful people for consuming goods and creating waste packaging. 